It's Men's Soccer Match Night on the Big East Digital Network presented by SoFi. Tonight from Cincinnati, Ohio, the Xavier University Soccer Complex. The Xavier Musketeers play host to the Seton Hall Pirates as we start to stretch run here in conference play. Welcome to a beautiful night for the beautiful game here in Cincinnati. I'm Mike Schmaltz. The Seton Hall Pirates come in to tonight in a five-way tie for fourth place. The Xavier Musketeers in tenth, but only four points separate those two positions. So plenty of opportunity for both teams here tonight to climb into the conference race or stay in the conference race. For Seton Hall, a tough season. It's been inconsistent, and they come off a 4-0 loss to the Butler Bulldogs over the weekend. And they will go to battle tonight without their four goal scorers, Stephen Elias. And that'll put some pressure on a group of two goal scorers. There's five of them for the Pirates. One of them, Carlton McKenzie, a forward, a six foot, 211 pound senior from Birmingham, England. Two goals and an assist on the season. He does lead Seton Hall in shots with 20. The Xavier Musketeers in 10th place have been a little generous on defense, and that puts Matt Rosenberg on the spot tonight. The junior redshirt goalkeeper comes from the University of Central Florida on a transfer of 5-4 and run record. You see the goals against it, 1.13. He leads the Big East in saves with 61. The Seton Hall Pirates and the Xavier Musketeers battle in Cincinnati next. student debt. At SoFi, we've helped over 250,000 people refinance their student loans, saving thousands of dollars. Now you can pay off your student loans faster and reach your goals sooner. See how much you can save in just two minutes at SoFi.com slash save. Back in Cincinnati, awaiting first touch between the Seton Hall Pirates and the Xavier Musketeers. Beautiful night tonight. We'll start our game in the middle 60s. We'll probably get down into the high 50s, middle 50s before we're all said and done. You see Andreas Nota getting the start in goal tonight for the Pirates. Andrea Borg, Love Fredrickson. And for the Musketeers, in goal, we told you about Matt Rosenberg. There's a pretty good score right there out front. Samson Sergei, one of a, a, two of the top scorers in the league. Samson Sergei out front with Carson Henderlong, a freshman running mate. Samson Sergei this season for the Musketeers with six goals and Carson Henderlong with five. So they packed the punch up front. Sean Wilson, very good controlling midfielder. Peyton Miller with a lot of speed on the wings. And Derek Godham, another controlling mid that can attack as well for Andy Fleming. Andy Fleming for the Musketeers in his 10th season. Took over the all-time victories lead for Xavier. Now has 103. And Andreas Lindbergh in his second season from LIU Post over with the Seton Hall Pirates. Big swing night tonight in the standings is Georgetown and St. John's taking on each other at the top of the conference St. John's at number four in the country, Georgetown at number seven. And you see some action to be decided there, probably the conference championship here tonight with four games remaining. Then the Butler Bulldogs comfortably there in third. Then it gets very interesting as we move down the standings to Paul. And that Providence, Creighton, Marquette, Seton Hall log jam in there at fourth, Villanova and the Xavier Musketeers down in 10th. But again, from that seven, third spot in seven points all the way down to 10th, just four points points separate so a lot to be decided as we have four matches remaining in the Big East regular season of course the top six will gain the championship seeds this season Musketeers are in there home whites trimmed in the blue and Seton Hall of course 
in its Road Royal trimmed in the white. Seton Hall coming off a 4-0 loss to Butler. It's their worst loss of the season. They started at the season scoring six goals against Central Connecticut State and the first offering from the Musketeers cleaned up. Our officials tonight, Brian DePiro, an assistant referee. Our a referee is Michael Laverne, Kyle Moss, the other assistant, the alternate is Luke Sabota. Patrick Napsinski, our timekeeper, Laura Top, our official scorer here tonight. Gorgeous night for the beautiful game here in Cincinnati, late fall. And huge conference implications as we get rolling down the stretch. This Musketeer defense been solid in the first half. Xavier's outscored its first half opponents 9-1. to one. In the second half, it's been a much different story for Xavier this season. They've been outscored 12 to six. Andreas Lindbergh with an attack-minded style. As he comes from a very successful run at now LIU Post, formerly CW Post. And he thinks he'll have some chances to break down this Musketeer defense tonight, and that's why Matt Rosenberg will be on the spot for Xavier, the Musketeer keeper. Battle there at mid for control, that's Viore. Ajira for the Pirates. Cycles it back to Lobe Fredrickson. Solid ball forward, that's Andrea Borg taking over. 11 different countries represented on this Pirate roster is Andreas Lindbergh from Sweden. Bringing some international connections over. Attack early here for the Pirates. And into the corner, pretty good battle there. Taylor Kroll. Battling down there with Carlton McKenzie. Look at the size there with Carlton McKenzie. Six foot, 182 out of Birmingham, England. And they look for him right in the box. Kroll won that one in the air, but second touch controlled here by Seton Hall. James Boot with the boot to the box. Vittorio Ajari controlling out front. Good run to the line for Andrea Borg over there to battle for the Musketeers, Cameron Bell. And Bell wins possession for Xavier. The back four such a solid part of this Musketeer system. They like to organize out of the back. Matthew Rosenberg coming in from the University of Central Florida. Had four shutouts last year. Andy Fleming loves the way he can organize the back line, but he's had to scramble in the second half this season. Musketeers have surrendered some late goals. They started out this season with a victory over then. Number two, number three, Akron in the opening game. Of course, the Zips have fallen from the national rankings. So we progress through our season. Musketeers trying to cycle out of the back. Taylor Kroll again with a touch. And this is Sean Wilson to transfer in from the University of North Carolina. Also on the College Cup team with the Tar Heels. A lot of experience in that back line for the Musketeers. Another big transfer in. Ryan Bellavance for Andy Fleming's back line. Odom controls. Far side there for Burnson. It's the Musketeers in the attacking half now. Statistically, these teams are very close. Samson Sergi trying to create a run, and that's poked away. I tried to cross there for Carson Henderlong. And that ball denied. Good work on the far side there by Lovie Fredrickson. Fredrickson, a defender, six foot 158. Out of Angel Home, Sweden. He transfers in from LIU Post. Ball of the air. 
quick distribution out of the back for Andreas Nota. Great run forward here for Borg and hounding him, Derek Odom. Ball sent across, Jacob Goodall. Captain the back line, captain for the Musketeers on the mark. Ball sent across, near touch and a reset now for Seton Hall. James Booth, the freshman from Southampton, England. Straw ball into the box, great header there. That was Carlton McKenzie in the air redirecting, but Matthew Rosenberg with a good line on it. Saves it for the Musketeers. Two shots now for Seton Hall, one for Xavier. Look at the great service in. And Carlton McKenzie times it well, a little scissor kick. Matthew Rosenberg collected on the goal line. Strong ball in, Henderlong heads it forward. Good feed there for Peyton Miller and Samson Sergi. Knew he was going to be offside, pulled up on that attack. Good clean up there for Andreas Nuta. Nota into this match with 988 minutes so far this season. He's given up 14 goals. The goals against at 1.28, 53 saves. And the C percentage at 791. A couple of shutouts to his credit as well. Seton Hall has lost two straight. One of them a 1-0, 2 nothing decision to Georgetown on the 11th. And the big loss to Butler. 4-0 and simply a inconsistent game for Seton Hall in that Butler matchup. Andreas Lindbergh, but it just got away from us at the end. It got emotional. Stephen Elias picked up the red card. The four goal scorer now not with the club tonight. So an advantage there for the Musketeers. Get a good look there in our series history. Xavier leads it 5-1. Last meeting in October the 27th, 2018, just about a year ago to the day. Xavier two, Seton Hall one. It was an overtime in South Orange. Could very well see a similar result here tonight. And all eyes, of course, on that St. John's Georgetown matchup. Two teams from the Big East in the top seven as we get down to the end of the season. It's really been the plan here, and offside is that charge going to be cut off there by Vittorio Ajeri. Both teams with a shot on goal so far. And you really look at the impressive sides forward there, Carlton McKenzie. Just there at 182. Could very well be a little stronger in the frame than 182. On their next turn here, McKenzie's picked. McKenzie powers forward with that big frame, puts a good strike on it, and Matt Rosenberg forced to go low. There you see now the Musketeer defense has been a bit more susceptible than usual. Andreas Lindbergh talked about last year's matchup with the Musketeers and said they just kept coming, and that's been the script for Andy Fleming teams here with this Savior Musketeer program. Good ball played out to midfield. Jacob Burson there to meet it for the Musketeers, but a nice turn again, and they'll send McKenzie forward. Pirates in business. McKenzie marked by Taylor Crow on the far side. Crawl with a turn, looks full relief. That ball gonna be deep possessed by Derek Odom. Good turn there for the Musketeers. Torborn Alseth takes it back for Seton Hall. Alseth the unsung hero for this Pirate team according to Andreas Lindbergh. It's Jacob Goodall able to clear that out of the box and a chance for the Musketeers to transition. Samson Sergi circling under it. Will be Fredericks in there to meet it. And now Carson Henderlong on the charge for Xavier. Henderlong with a good strike and that one turned away by Noda near post. 
See how quickly Xavier can organize out of the back. Good ball forward for Henderlong and a great right foot. And Noda over there to shut the door. So a corner now for the Musketeers. Saw Noda get up there with the hand right at the brace. Jacob Goodhart out with the service. First corner of the night for either team. Corners for the season. Opponents 58, Musketeers 41. Good foot there for Goodall. They found Sampson Sergio. That ball trickled very close to the wide side, but a composed strike out of there. Oh, Seton Hall. Torbjorn Alsith on the spot there. Turned away the threat there for the Musketeers. It's Victorio Ajeri shaking up. We'll be able to continue the play. Seton Hall's match with Butler got physical at the end. Some tempers rose, as they will in the Big East. Good old trying to fire out of the back. Carson Henderlong working in space here for the Musketeers. Persistent effort earns the possession. Good ball wide. Burnson serves it in. That one right to the boot of Eden O'Leary. Ball sent back. Xavier resets. Chase Weber working out of the back with Taylor Crawl. Good old good left foot. Carson Henderlong hovering forward. Henderlong beaten to the spot by Eden O'Leary. O'Leary, a midfielder, a freshman out of Tel Aviv. Very strong international flair here for Seton Hall. Here you see that last offering there from Sampson Sergi. And that was on the line. Dennis Clemendi down there making the stop. Great defensive positioning pays off there for the Hall. Ball sent out by Fredrickson. Musketeers regroup with Goodall. Low service in, and Fredrickson there again to poke it away. Ball to the attacking half for the Pirates. Carlton McKenzie forced the issue, and that forced Taylor Crawl to give it up early. Nice change of possession for the Pirates. McKenzie again, great back boot service. Chase Weber to the spot first for the Musketeers and cycles back to Rosenberg. Fredrickson forward. And that ball caught Jacob Goodall right in the chops as it was right over the shoulder of Andrea Borg. Goodall took a step back almost like a prize fighter. Took a very solid jab to the face. Goodall's able to continue here. Derek Odom. Samson Sergi battles forward here with Obe Fredrickson. Cameron Bell to throw it in. Musketeers will check on the forbearance of Jacob Goodall. Good old down to the pitch there. Now the training staff going to come over and attend to perhaps his nose. Good old took a very square shot from that ball right to the face. Reset here, Andreas Lindbergh had a chance to conference there with Carlton McKenzie. Get McKenzie among a group of five, two goal scorers for this Seton Hall team. Good ball to space, Clemendi there. Battling with the Musketeers, Peyton Miller. Ball to the box as Miller momentarily won and then swept away by James Boot. Musketeers bring Grant Dumbler out. Dumbler, red shirt junior here. 
Midfielder with the Musketeers out of Egan, Minnesota at St. Thomas Academy. Restart here for Xavier. Another concentration of this Musketeer program. Restarts and Cameron Bell will almost use this as a corner kick scenario. Great placement with the throw-ins. Sends it right to the box looking for Sampson Serjak. Great play there by Andreas Nota in the air. He came off the line. McKenzie controlling in space. Pirates in. Two on three. Now three on three as they fill in. Good shape on the attack. Derek Odom got a foot on it. The Musketeers temporarily out of trouble. Taylor Cross sends it back to the pitch. Good job to organize there by James Boot. Pirates reset the attack. Good left foot service in. So Andrea Borg. Borg has it poked away from behind, and Peyton Miller will try to clear. Sampson Sergei on the run for the Musketeers. Sergei puts on the brakes. Torborn Alseth defending. Got it over for Henderlong, and he has it taken away at the top of the box. Quick transition here, and here's McKenzie, and they'll call it offside. Almost a big chance there for Carlton McKenzie out front. And just a little early. Kellett perhaps a half step. Andreas Lindbergh loves the excitement Carlton McKenzie brings to this team. Fast and he can make plays on his own and predicted there'd be a couple times he'd break through this Musketeer defense tonight in system, and Carlton McKenzie almost had a 1v1 there with Matt Roosevelt. Sergi turned away again by Noda. Sergi on the rebound, serves it back in, and Noda with a scrambling save. Andreas Nota coming to the fore for the Seton Hall Pirates. Some acrobatic saves. Keep coming. Told you about Andy Fleming here, fantastic. 10-year coach for these Musketeers, 103-61 and 31 overall, 31-23 and 5 in the Big East. His 100 victory on September the 2nd this season, 3-2 against Eastern Illinois. He's had some solid victories here with Xavier as well, but hasn't been to the NCAA tournament in a while. In the program best number two ranking in 2019. Been in the top ten three times here with the Musketeers. Andy Fleming, a back-to-back -back Atlantic 10 championships in 2011 and 10, but yet to break through to a regular season or conference title here in the Big East since 2013. McKenzie again, a bullet, and that one knocked up into the air by Matthew Rosenberg. Peyton Miller trying to get the Musketeers out of trouble. How about the keeping here early? Andreas Nota for the Pirates, Matthew Rosenberg for the Musketeers, both tested. That was a massive strike there from McKenzie. Came rebel in space, good service across, and again, just missing Sampson Sergei. Sergei again, just out of his range, perhaps sensing an offside with the touch. Taylor Crawl touches back right, for right, Matthew Rosenberg. Andy Fleming calling for some numbers in the final third. Good ball forward there for Sergi. Try to get it back for Wilson. Ove Fredrickson there to ruin the party for the Musketeers. Seton Hall forms. Burns a great play on the far side. Will Turn away that attack momentarily. The throwing coming here for the Pirates will stop the clock. Perhaps a 10 to an injury in the back half, and that's Sean Wilson. Wilson was tangled up early in that transition as the Pirates stormed out of the defensive half. See the long ball in. There's Fredrickson, and Fredrickson right to the spot. Got there just about the same time as Sean Wilson. 
Wilson back to his feet. And a throw in coming here and a great chance for the Pirates. Nil-nil here, but shots of plenty. Four for the Musketeers, three for the Seton Hall Pirates. Four on goal for Xavier, two on goal for Seton Hall. Musketeers able to turn and earn possession. Miller, Derek Odom working tandem to gain the Xavier possession. Taylor Draw with Carlton McKenzie hovering there for the Pirates. Good ball again out of the back here for Boot. And Boot sent down to the pitch. Foul against the Musketeers and Carson Henderlong. A little reset. See our referee Michael Laverne. Forward pressure here by Sampson Surgeon. Pirates forced to send it back to Andreas Nota. Nota with a strong right foot out of the back. Ball clipped. A pirate in a box ball sent across. Dangerous chance in front. Cameron Bell and Taylor Crawl able to converge on the attacking Andrea Borg for Seton Hall. Great position there for Borg. And fantastic placement for Seton Hall, and that was two kicks forward. And Seton Hall threatening. Attack minded for Andrea Slinberg, the Swede. Second year head coach for the Pirates. Likes this team's speed and composition. Really trying to get Seton Hall back to some of the glory days of the early Big East. The Pirates were regular contenders for NCAA tournaments, conference titles. Samson Sergi in the attacking third back for Cameron Bell. Good all forward. That one caught Samson Sergi above the neck. Another strong play out by James Boot. In space, Vittorio Ajeri. Ajeri denied and sent to the back half. Move Fredrickson been active for the Pirates here in the first. Carlton McKenzie again with that big frame going to work on Taylor Crawl. Great ball across and that one cut off at the near post by Matthew Rosenberg. Carlton McKenzie. Kensing's third shot of the night. He's already had a couple on Frank. Cameron Bell forward. Fredrickson has it deflect at mid off boot. Now into space. Derek Odom able to clean it up for the Musketeers and they cycle back. Chase Weber, the freshman. Good all, trying to connect with Hender Long and Fredrickson there to deny. Sean Wilson cleans it up at midfield. Salad tandem there with Odom and Wilson for the Musketeers. Patrolling the middle. Odom works forward for Peyton Miller. Burnson for Wilson. It's Musketeers reverse pitch. Ball across for Good all. Ball sent into the box and Cameron Bell couldn't make a run. Well, Andy Fleming looking for numbers forward, did not get in on that attack for the Musketeers. Great defensive positioning there by Nathan Tremonti. Tremonti out of Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, brother Rice High School. Great athletic tradition. Seton Hall organizes out of the back. On 
Andreas Lindberg. You see him there, 11, 13, and two entering tonight, four, nine, and one in the Big East in his second season. From 2009 to 17, he led Division II LIU Post to a 139, 30, and 15 record. Eight East Coast Conference regular season championships, six conference tournament championships, seven NCAA tournaments. Of course, in the Division II ranks, LIU Post, that was CW Post at the time. And that university on the former estate of the great serial magnet CW Post. That area in Brookfield, New York, known as the Gold Coast, the land of the great Gatsby. Big run forward here for Andrea Borg. Borg across. Big strike there for the Pirates. And that one turned away by Rosenberg. He got a great line on it. That was Carlton McKenzie once again. McKenzie playing with purpose here tonight. He wind up with that big right foot. Got it around Taylor Crow, and that ball has some pop on it, no question. Rosenberg with a good line low. See if Carlton McKenzie might try one upstairs on his next attack as Rosenberg has been spot on in his placement. Defending the line for the Musketeers. Four shots now for both teams, three on goal for the Pirates. Four on goal for the Musketeers. Good ball cycles across, Tremonti. Ball went forward and another collision there. Andrea Borg gets tangled up with Jacob Goodall. Want to fight for one of the spots in the Big East Tournament? You're gonna play like that. A little contact there for Borg and a nice clean charge forward there for Jacob Goodall. So Taylor Crawl with a chance to clear here for Xavier. Connect with Sampson Sergi. Sergi among three Pirates had to give it up, and Andrea Borg back in the charge for the Pirates. Borg back for McKenzie. McKenzie draws the double team right around Crawl, and Crawl able to battle back. It's been a fun exchange between Taylor Crawl and Carlton McKenzie so far in the early going. Matthew Rosenberg set to send it out. See our clock winding down here in the first 45, so we approach 18 to play. Both teams with some solid opportunities here in the first. Carson Hinderlong trying to battle here on the near side. Nathan Tremonti comes up with a better position and the possession. Good all out of the back for the Musketeers. Peyton Miller with speed. Odom across for Burnson. Good turn, Miller in space, had it taken away. Solid play by Eden O'Leary. Musketeers battle there in the midfield, able to earn the throw in. Musketeers with two shots from Sampson Sergi, both on goal. One for Carson Hinterlong, that on frame, and one from Cameron Bell. Odom across. Ball knocked away. Solid position there by Tremonti. It was Lou Fredrickson early. The defensive star for Seton Hall, and now Nathan Tremonti coming to the fore. Solid ball in, and long forward. That was Sampson Sergi, again poked away by Lobe Fredrickson. Skatiers will have the throw in, and they again turn to Cameron Bell. Cameron Bell, last season, 19 matches, seven starts, had a goal, 
four assists, 17 shots. Love the speed that Cameron Bell brings to this team. Andy Fleming calling him a gazelle and effortless runner. Another solid placement there, and Fredrickson there to deny for the Pirates. Henderlong keeps it alive, trying to turn in space. They found Sampson, Sergi, and that ball whistled off. Well, Sergi almost had a chance to turn right at the penalty kick spot. But again, whistled away, so a couple of Musketeer attacks a step too early. Andreas Nota. Set to clear here for the Pirates. No to three saves so far on the four Musketeer offerings. Fredrickson there again defensively. Sets up the attack here for Torborn Alseth. Poked away again at mid. Odom circles back over for Taylor Crow. Bell works with Odom again as Borg depossessed. Solid charge forward here. Alex Pozeski. Pozeski forward. Carlton McKenzie just off. McKenzie controls again, spins out of the defense. Great technical ability in space and a blast for McKenzie. That one deflected. Xavier able to clear it there with Burnson. Carlton McKenzie as advertised by Andrea Slimberg. Seton Hall playing without Stephen Elias tonight. He's serving a red card suspension. Elias, the point leader, the goal leader for Seton Hall. Peyton Miller sends it across. They're looking for Carson Henderlong and Fredrickson there again for the Pirates. Reset for Peyton Miller. Miller going to work, has it poked away. Kenzie again going back after Taylor Crawl. Crawl wins that battle for the moment. Goodall was going to serve it long and recognize he had some space in front. Now we'll work with Sampson Surgeon. Pressure forward there for Seton Hall. Forces it back. Peyton Miller. Deep possessed one more time on that far side by Clemendi. Two solid plays in a row now. Here's Borg forward. Carlton McKenzie out. Big sliding stop there. That was Chase Webber, the freshman for Xavier. The Musketeers mixing it up with Carlton McKenzie tonight. McKenzie's got great speed. And Chase Webber sacrifices everything to keep that one away. J.P. Marin on. For the Pirates, a 5'9", 167-pound sophomore from Briarwood, New York. James Boot comes off. This is a corner here for Seton Hall, their first of the night. That ball caught the boot low of Tremonte and sent across the fence. Matthew Rosenberg. Set to send it out for the Musketeers. Shot lead now 6-4 in favor of Seton Hall. Pirates still with three on frame, but Carlton McKenzie. Andrea Borg and manufactured some chances early here for the Pirates. Well played first half as we approach 11 minutes to play. Reset out of the back for Fredrickson. Borg again. Cameron Bell to Marco get some help from Goodall. 
Morg able to form a run. Great work there by Goodall to cut it off, but a throw in attacking third for Seton Hall. Nathan Tremati over to take it. Musketeers will clog the box and Seton Hall plays it short to J.P. Barron. Good ball across for Tremonte, poked away by Taylor Crow and that ball offered off the crossbar on the rebound. Then tangled up. Torbjorn Olseth gets a great service. Crawl sent it out and sent right back in. It might have been Olseth on that far side on the offering. Cameron Bell in a battle with J.P. Marin. Good all, able to collect, get it forward. Ball off the chest of Samson Sergeant and Derek Odom. Peyton Miller controls. Ball to the center of the box and swept out again by Louvé Fredrickson. Last strike off the crossbar by Alex Pozeski for Seton Hall. Derek Odom sends it forward. Ball flicked away again at the near post. Corner coming up for the Musketeers. Opportunity for Xavier with 9.15 remaining. Jacob Goodall trots over to take the corner for the Musketeers. Second corner of the night for Xavier. Service far post. They're looking for Samson. Sergi knocked it down. Ball sent out of the box, right back on, and that's Burnson with a big strike through traffic. Great work by Andreas Nota to dig it out. Ball forward, that one missed the connection in mid. Pressing the issue, Alex Pozeski. A touchy situation there as Matthew Rosenberg able to lift that to mid. Andreas Lindberg wants his Pirates to be attack-minded and they are filling the script here tonight. A lot of frustration coming off that 4-0 Butler loss, and they know they can play with the top of the conference. Lindbergh says no shame in a 2-0 loss to Georgetown. To come out 4-0 against the Butler Bulldogs, a big disappointment for this team as they try to rebound here tonight and acquitting themselves quite well. Out shooting the Musketeers 7-6. Here in the first. Will be Fredrickson out for Peyton Miller. Across for Derek Odom. Now Sean Wilson. Wilson across. Misconnection there for Odom and Borg there to clean it up. They're looking for Carlton McKenzie one more time. Here he comes. McKenzie flicks forward, but nobody home there for the Pirates. Carlton McKenzie. Excellent footwork. That time in traffic. McKenzie will press the issue again against Crow. Weber trying to work out of the back as the Pirates push forward. Ball turned over. Marin sends it in. Carlton in to send it back. That ball offered on the near post. Solid strike again. Vittorio and Jerry with that offering for the Pirates. Ball forward here for Carson Hinderlong. Musketeers fill in. Peyton 
Peyton Miller, top of the 18. Hender Long in traffic as he poked away. Sampson Sergi trying to work a little two-man game there with Peyton Miller and no connection for Xavier. Polbrin and Alstith, another solid defensive play in that sequence at the top of the box for the Pirates. Andreas Nota sends it along. McKenzie has it ricochet off his back in the cleaning up of Jerry. Pirates able to keep it in the attacking half. Now cycle back. Good wide ball there for Tremonti. And that one knocked away. Let's get tears get over there again with Taylor Crow. Noah Baffo on now, the Musketeer freshman, 5'11", 150 pound forward from Columbus, Ohio. Baffo's had three assists so far this season. A good job contributing some solid minutes here for Andy Fleming. Free ball in space, that ball ricocheted around on the strike from Alsith. The ball just launched over the crossbar. Matthew Rosenberg been selling tonight, as is his counterpart. Andreas Nota for the Pirates. Andreas Lindbergh looked at this opportunity tonight as a perhaps six point game. You can perhaps get this victory against the Musketeers. It's going to be tough for Xavier to climb back into it. So if he loses tonight, then these two teams tied with record and Xavier would hold the tiebreaker, and that's how tight it is once again in the Big East outside of the big runs made by St. John's and, of course, Georgetown. Georgetown, a traditional power here in the league. St. John's and Georgetown facing off tonight. What a great night for the league, a big swing night. It's five matches tonight across the conference. St. John's number four in the country, Georgetown number seven. It's the new poll came out yesterday. Andreas Lindbergh thought St. John's could have a shot at number one in the country in that mix. Buffo with good position. Turned away by Pozeski. Ball ricochets to mid. Odom there for the Musketeers. Connects with Bell, try to get it back to Odom. Easy play out as that ball went right to the feet of Eden O'Leary. Marin has it deflected. Wilson picks it up at mid for the Musketeers. Burts in forward. Peyton Miller sends it back for Burton. Ball across for Taylor Crow. Cameron Bell. Great move for Bell on Tremonti. Bell charges in. Tries to feed it across. And Miss Sampson Sergi. Ball clear and Carlton McKenzie with a chance. And it'll go back after Taylor Crow. McKenzie. Good change of speed, couldn't get a good strike on it. Crawl knocked it down. McKenzie, technical ability in traffic. And that ball sent well past the crossbar. McKenzie couldn't get a good strike on it that time. Matthew Rosenberg with a chance to send it out for Xavier. Can the Musketeers manufacture a chance late here in the first? First has been the Musketeers' forte. Nine goals in the first to just one for their opponents. Oh, 
45th minute here in the first. Jacob Goodall. Long ball in, Noda tracks it all the way. Got caught up in the air. Samson Sergei trying to get back on a rebound. And Sergei couldn't control. Dangerous play there for Andreas Nota. The Seton Hall keeper, and he'll go to his backside here and take a little extra time. So Nota got up into the air as that ball was served high by Jacob Goodall. Nota tracked it the entire way. Perhaps got tangled up with Samson Sergi as well. Stephen Ketchedal would be the backup keeper tonight for Seton Hall. Ketchedal's appeared in one match. Played two minutes and 53 seconds. The other keeper listed on the roster, Peter Dobrojevic. Did not travel. Dobber Jebek, a freshman. Kachedol's a senior. Kachedol originally from Germany, but played at Jesuit High School in California. So some quick attention here for Andreas Nota, and he will stay in the contest. Been a huge development there for this match. Andreas Lindbergh says of his keeper, he can make some ESPN top 10 types of saves and we've seen them here tonight. And it puts the left foot on it. That was the one that was being attended to. McKenzie, good flick back. Musketeers were there with Bernson on the deflection. Nine seconds here in the first. We will go to the break all even here in Cincinnati. We expected a tough battle between the Seton Hall Pirates and the Xavier Musketeers, and it has delivered here as the Musketeers trying to climb out of 10th and Seton Hall trying to keep its ground in the five-way tie for fourth. A lot of firepower tonight for both teams, Seton Hall launched eight shots, three of them on frame. Matthew Rosenberg came up with three saves for the Musketeers. For Xavier, six shots, five on goal. And Andreas Nota answered the bell with four saves for the Pirates. Big firepower, big goalkeeper here in Cincinnati. All even at nil at the break. Superior Court of New Jersey, and that inspired me to go to law school. I am a physics and civil engineering major, and I want to work on infrastructure in underdeveloped countries. I'm the news director at one of the top college radio stations in the country. I'm working with my professor on research that could help athletes during sudden cardiac events. I started my own business, Classic Soccer Cleats, and I just sold it to a company in England. Come see for yourself what great minds can do. by taking charge of your student debt. At SoFi, we've helped over 250,000 people refinance their student loans, saving thousands of dollars. Now you can pay off your student loans faster and reach your goals sooner. See how much you can save in just two minutes at SoFi.com slash save.
What can great minds do? While at Seton Hall, I interned with the Superior Court of New Jersey, and that inspired me to go to law school. I am a physics and civil engineer. You can pay off your student loans faster and reach your goals sooner. See how much you can save in just two minutes at SoFi.com slash save. It's time to fuel your ambitions by taking charge of your student debt. At SoFi, we've helped over 250,000 people refinance their student loans, saving thousands of dollars. Now you can pay off your student loans faster and reach your goals sooner. See how much you can save in just two minutes at SoFi.com slash save. can great minds do? While at Seton Hall, I interned with the Superior Court of New Jersey, and that inspired me to go to law school. I am a physics and civil engineering major, and I want to work on infrastructure in underdeveloped countries. I'm the news director at one of the top college radio stations in the country. I'm working with my professor on research that could help athletes during sudden cardiac events. I started my own business, Classic Soccer Cleats, and I just sold it to a company in England. Come see for yourself what great minds can do.
Mike Schmaltz back with you on the Big East Digital Network. The Xavier Musketeers and Seton Hall Pirates tied at nil in Cincinnati, but it wasn't due to a lack of effort by both attacks tonight. Some big-time shots from both sides and some big-time answers by the goalkeepers. Andreas Nota for Seton Hall, Matthew Rosenberg for the Xavier Musketeers. Eight shots so far tonight for the Seton Hall Pirates, six for the Xavier Musketeers. Seton Hall's put three on frame, and the Musketeers have put five on frame. Let's get a look at some of the firepower being unleashed here tonight at the Xavier Soccer Complex. See a good deflection early for Carlton McKenzie. And McKenzie had four of the shots for Seton Hall, put three of them on frame. That was his first of the night. Carson Henderlow tried to answer there with a speedy attack. And how about Andreas Nota getting high into the air to guide that one away at the brace. In traffic, Musketeers have been frustrated. Great play on the goal line by Seton Hall and some excellent positioning. So both keepers getting some help from their defensive lines. Physical battle tonight as well. So great runs forward and it's a great technical ability for Carlton McKenzie tonight. He has put some blasts on Matthew Rosenberg and Rosenberg's been able to answer the bell to the tune of three saves. Rosenberg under fire. Andreas Nota acrobatic in the air. Goalkeeping highlighted against some potent offenses. We have tied, however, at the break. We'll be back with Melanie Moore, the Xavier women's basketball coach, after this. It's time to fuel your ambitions by taking charge of your student debt. At SoFi, we've helped over 250,000 people refinance their student loans, saving thousands of dollars. Now you can pay off your student loans faster and reach your goals sooner. See how much you can save in just two minutes at SoFi.com slash save. minds do. While at Seton Hall, I interned with the Superior Court of New Jersey, and that inspired me to go to law school. I am a physics and civil engineering major, and I want to work on infrastructure in underdeveloped countries. I'm the news director at one of the top college radio stations in the country. I'm working with my professor on research that could help athletes during sudden cardiac events. I started my own business, Classic Soccer Cleats, and I just sold it to a company in England. Come see for yourself what great minds can do. Back at the Xavier Soccer Complex, Seton Hall and the Xavier Musketeers after a high-powered first half tied at nil at the break. And we are joined now by the eighth head coach for the Xavier Musketeers in the vaunted program's history. It's Melanie Moore. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us here at the break on the Big East Digital Network. So you get a chance to talk to Big East Nation here tonight. You come from Michigan. You had a chance to get a safer environment last week during Musketeer Madness when the Musketeers introduced both of their squads. What do you think of the environment here at Xavier for the first try? I mean, the fans were outside lined up early around 4.30. I was like, are, are they serious? I mean, they came from all over the place, all ages. It was just an unbelievable environment, especially for my first time. And to walk into Centaz and the introduction and to look up and see people everywhere, it was very humbling and exciting at the same time. So this will be your first head coaching position 
mentioned you come from Michigan. You were the associate head coach there with Kim barnes Rico, who had a great run with St. John's before she moved over to Michigan. What did she maybe tell you about this conference and give you a little bit of insight? That it's no joke. Really good, really good coaches from top to bottom, and you gotta you gotta be prepared every night, and anybody can beat you on any given night. So I'm just very excited to be a part of the Big East family, and it's unbelievable basketball. It's a basketball conference, so I'm looking forward to getting started here. Talk about your team, what you've been able to learn about them here in the early going 11 victories last season. They showed some spurts to where they could compete with some of the top teams in the conference. DePaul a little bit, McCart, they've given some challenges too. What did you like about your team this year? Experience. We have nine returners from last year's uh, team, and they're working hard. They're, they're bringing it every day. They're competing. And we just talk about every day we got to be 1% better than the day before and just to win that day, and what does that look like? So it's funny, the competition and the small talk back and forth, um, but I'm just so proud of this group. They're buying in from day one, and we really feel like every day we, we are getting better. And it's exciting to see, and in each day some somebody new steps up. So we're excited for the season. Talk about some newcomers you have three of them this year you were able to bring them in and I thought it's kind of a tough window as you get here in April after the postseason's over the postseason just starting for some teams but you're able to find three new recruits to join the squad tell us about them yep so the first one is Morgan Sharp shooter from Newark uh, high school down in Columbus Ohio and just a bucket getter she can shoot the three she can go off the bounce so we're very fortunate to get her late and then there is another young lady from Ohio from Minster High School Courtney Pranger and we do this thing practice points every week that we call X factor and with it is like loose balls charges rebounds uh, just deflections and she's one two of our three weeks so that's a freshman right there coming and bringing it every day so we're excited about that and then we have a transfer in Nia Clark she'll have to sit out this year do mm -hmm. the NCAA transfer role but talk about a competitor a high elite level guard and so she's competing against our team every day and getting our, our guards ready to go what do you think of the work ethic of Ariana Gray all effort last year for your squad. She'll be four men in the post, we believe. And then your nice point guard tandem, Aliyah Dunham and T. Owens, mm -hmm. and then a nice three point shooter with Lauren Wasserson. So, some pieces to work with here. Definitely. We feel like we got a lot of pieces in place, and with their experience of Big East, we're going to lean on them a lot. Um, but they all have improved and, and buying into just the individual fundamental development every day. And Ari Gray, what can you say about her? She, you look at all the stats and all the, the players in the Big East, the talent that left and graduated, and you have her who was a double double machine last year. So, we hold her accountable to that and try to challenge her every day to now one up that from last year's season. One word associated with you energy you're bringing it here tonight well look at the big yeah, smile let, you're able go. to sell that in how do you translate that to your team I just try to you know if I come in with a positive energy upbeat I know that then it maybe they had a bad day you know something wrong with them or class was tough they'll see like oh coach is bringing the energy so we need to match that and it seems I'm trying to rub off on them and it seems to help if you come to our practice now it's loud it's energetic people are talking clapping high-fiving and so I know that our staff as well we're all rubbing off on our team what were some of the things that attracted you to make this your first head coaching job I mean it's Xavier look at this place from uh, just just the campus, the academics, the facility. Centa is one of the best basketball arenas in the country. It's Big East basketball. And then the, the city of Cincinnati. What can you say about downtown Cincinnati? And it's a couple exits away from campus. So very fortunate to be at an unbelievable place. You settled in pretty well. We've seen you at the baseball championship. I saw you out there. We saw you at some soccer matches tonight. I enjoyed Yeah, just Xavier trying life. to support my colleagues here at Xavier and, and support them. Okay. So what do you think of uh, soccer here tonight? Andy Fleming's a uh, pretty good role model in terms of victories, all-time victories leader now with 103. He's got put some effort into these charges tonight. He sure is. He's an unbelievable coach, and I told him I want to pick his brain after his season's over. Have you had a ton of interaction with the other coaches, maybe Travis Steele and, and picking yeah, up some Travis, tips and pointers the about the thing university? thing for me is my office is right next door to Travis's. So I'm in there all the time picking his brain, especially since he went through it as a first-year head coach last year. Um, but, yeah, even Christy and, and volleyball and then Andy, all the coaches here have been very welcoming, and, and we're excited just to be a part of this family and pick their brains. They're all, we have some very successful coaches through here at Xavier, so looking forward to catching up with them even more and picking their brains. Michigan certainly a big football school, American football here, maybe European football a little bit more, taking the spotlight. How different is it to work at a school with smaller where basketball really is the focus? It's different, but I love it at the same time. You know, I'm used to every Saturday I had to be in the big house watching football, and now I'm watching it on the couch or I'm, I'm actually in a gym, so it, it's actually nice. Talk about it, Cintas Center, they remodeled some of the back of it, so some new training facilities. How nice is that to have that for a recruiting advantage? The facilities are top notch and they continue to, um, our administration continues to give us the resources to be successful in that area, so we're very fortunate. That is Xavier 
Women's basketball coach, uh, first season upcoming, you get Utah to kick it off. Talk about a little bit about your non-conference season. Yeah, we're trying to challenge ourselves, challenge our team since we have so many players returning. So we have two Pac-12 schools that are coming into Centos to play, starting off with Utah. We have Colorado coming. We have the Crosstown rival with Cincinnati in the house. And then just up the road a little bit in Wright State, and they were an NCAA tournament team last year. So we really tried to put a schedule together to get us ready for Big East play. Xavier Women's Basketball ready to go with Melanie Moore. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, bud. All right, we'll see you soon. Go X. That is Melanie Moore. As we get underway here in our second big-time opportunities here tonight for both teams as they get rolling here in this second half. Musketeers trying to climb out of that 10th spot in Seton Hall, trying to maintain its spot of five-way tie in fourth. Butler in third as we start tonight. St. John's and Georgetown doing battle up in New York and Georgetown with a two goal lead at the half. So Georgetown saying maybe not ready to give up that traditional top spot in the conference to the Red Storm. Xavier opens up in the attacking half here in the second. Sampson Sergi working forward. That ball cleared out nicely. Again in the box. Pirates have really done a nice job keeping the ball off of Andreas Nota, the keeper. Good ball, and Sampson, Sergi out of the air, pokes it home, Sergi seven, breaks the nil-nil tie, and the Musketeers on the board first. Xavier trying to stay alive in the conference hut, and their leading scorer just deposited one in the back of the net off the header. See the throw in there from Burson, Derek Odom with a beautiful service high, and Lope Fredrickson, who's been solid all night, has Sampson Sergi rise and fire with the redirection. And the Musketeers, with their seventh shot of the night, lead it 1 0. Now the big question Musketeers have been outscored 12 6 in the second half. Can they make an advantage? Stand up. So Autumn with the assist for the Xavier Musketeers. Autumn's. Second assist of the campaign, and Samson Sergio with his team leading advantage growing now to seven over the five goal scoring Carson Henderlong. Now the Musketeers with some momentum. Good ball into the attacking half, and Cameron Bell on the spot there for Xavier. Andreas Lindbergh talked about the style of the Musketeers. A lot of fight. Andy Fleming's team's fight to the finish. Question coming into tonight is it can turn around at any time in the Big East, but would it turn around in time for Andy Fleming and Xavier to stay alive in this conference hunt? Three matches follow tonight for both teams. Xavier able to keep it alive in the attacking third. Here's Cameron Bell. Good all forward. Bell serves across, looking for Sergei again, and another header. This one floats across the cross ball. So Xavier finding the big target. Sergei in there at 6 2. That time rose above Eden Leary, six foot. Numbers forward here. High pressure for the Musketeers. Xavier trying to quickly add to the advantage. Two teams were able to go blow for blow in the first. Eight shots for Seton Hall. 
Six for the Musketeers in the first. Taylor Curl knocks that away, but now an opportunity for Seton Hall. First solid threat here, the second 45. Ball played across by Tremonti. Vittorio Ajeri trying to work out of the back. Ramon Sack Clemendi. Torborn Alseth. Tremonti again for. Almost the first touch of this second half. For Carlton McKenzie. McKenzie was the shot leader in the first four. Seton Hall, four shots, three of them on frame. Ball in the air and a dangerous deflection. Musketeers able to survive the first attack of the second by the Seton Hall Pirates. Shots all even now at eight. As Matthew Rosenberg fires it out of the back and they connect with Peyton Miller. Miller trying to send Samson Sergi forward. Sergi on a run wide this time. Sergi puts it on and a great save by Nota near post. Xavier finding the extra gear here out of the half. Look at the speed for Sergi. Powerful strike and Nota sacrificing the body. Corner coming up for the Musketeers. Third corner of the night for Xavier. Derek Odom with the service. That one cleared everybody in the box. Reset down for the Pirates. Big night on the Big East Digital Network. Huge RPI year for this conference. They're second in the RPI overall. And it's a somewhat gentleman's agreement among the coaches in the conference to play some tough non-conference schedules. So when we get into these situations where you end up in the five-way tie for fourth, the losses don't hurt that much in the national scene and more teams can challenge for an NCAA tournament berth. Xavier, of course, 10th in the conference, the lowest RPI, but that one at 40, 54, excuse me, pretty respectable. It's a good turn here for Sampson Sergi, and that ball immediately taken away by Eden O'Leary. Trying to send a Jerry forward. Musketeers were there with Chase Weber. Weber back forward. Noah Baffo starts his second half, coming in late in the first. Trying to cost some trouble. Great turn here by Andrea Borg. Borg will work out in the back here with James Boot. Not Clemendi. O'Leary resets. Lobe Fredrickson. Turn there for Eden O'Leary. Fredrickson back across. Touch here for Andrea Borg. Borg with a burst. Taylor Crawl there to cut it off, but a throw in coming for the Pirates. Quick restart here for Seton Hall as they try to match their first half pace. Carlton McKenzie. Acrobatic. Deft touch with the ball in the first. Trying to power forward there. Nathan Tremonti. Tremonti with the throw in. Good old right there to meet it for the Musketeers. Kept alive nicely by Boot. Ball in front, back flick. 
Marin almost had a chance to redirect, but Matthew Rosenberg able to nose that one out for the Musketeers. Rosenberg, three saves in the first. No to five saves. Good all cycles back. Chase Weber trying to work out of the back. Misconnection there with Sergi. Marin forward. Gets entangled there with Peyton Miller and we play on. Webber against high pressure. Great burst again for Andrea Borg. And that ball fired right behind our broadcast position. And we will give an unofficial save to Brian Hicks of the Xavier Athletic staff. See Borg charging out of the back. Chase Weber, Taylor Crow, Musketeers organize. Seton Hall eases off the pressure. Connection forward deflected back to Sampson Sergi. Miller across, back for Sean Wilson. Wilson with a turn in space. Able to ward off the slide there from Aaron. Ball forward for Miller. Alsif plays out of the back for Seton Hall. Solid defensive counter there for the Pirates. Peyton Miller tries to turn and there to interrupt James Boot. Throw in met by Clemendi. Back out flick forward for Marin. That ball was across the touchline. The late whistle. And it'll swing back to the Musketeers. Vittorio and Jerry wanted to keep going there. Crawl with a spin move. Pressure high by Borg. Musketeers with Wilson. Carlton McKenzie up to pressure. Xavier able to steer it out of trouble. Cameron Bell wide for Peyton Miller. Miller converged on by three Pirates. Quick deep possession there. Borg alongside Marin. Borg trying to make a turn again, and Borg got a spin and then landed on the ball, able to pop up quickly. Seton Hall finding some pace and momentum in the attack. Strong run wide, that one cut off there. Tremonte for Seton Hall, ball turned. Musketeers back to it with Noah Bapo. Touched out, and Xavier will take its time. Now in the attacking half. Energetic segment there for both sides. Both sides able to mount some decent attacks, but now the defense coming to the fore. Xavier works it a little bit closer. And we see that Georgetown now with a 3-0 lead over St. John's. Check out the scoreboard there, and you see that the Providence Friars have taken out Villanova. And Marquette up 1-0 over the Butler Bulldogs. And Butler, the third place team. We see it Creighton DePaul, 0-0. Part of that big four-way 
tie here in the fourth place. And then midway through the second, how about that? Georgetown has added on to its 2-0 advantage at the half. So St. John's in at number four in the country, Georgetown at number seven. And the Hoyas saying we're not taking the crown away easily in a threat there. And Noda able to scramble up a save on a deflected ball in the box. It'll be an interesting week here in the Big East. So when we get done with the weekend, there'll be two matches left for each team. Pivotal week here in conference. So we mentioned if this would hold up here, Seton Hall and Xavier will be tied at two and four in the standings. And the Musketeers into today in 10th, all of a sudden into the mix and have a time break advantage over the Pirates. Either way, when it comes down to the final week, the calculators will be working late in New York in the Big East office to determine the seats. Here's Cameron Bell working his way through traffic. Carlton McKenzie. First good run of the second half. Ball forward and that one just off as Vittorio Ajeri was set to line up and fire on Matthew Rosenberg. Andreas Lindbergh a little shake of the head on the Seton Hall bench. And again, attack minded here for Seton Hall. They thought they could catch Xavier out of position defensively tonight. They've done it several times, yet to cash in. Rosenberg long ball out. Will be Fredrickson with the touch for Seton Hall. Odom going after it with Carlton McKenzie and Odom wins position. Substitution now, Alex Pozeski back on for the Seton Hall Pirates. And C.J. Tiebling, the sophomore from Jarnas, Sweden. Last year, an all-freshman selection. 60 shots for Seton Hall a season ago. And he's on now to try to make a difference here in this second half. So this is just Tiebling's eighth match of the campaign and really hasn't played steadily since last November. So Tiebling on again generated 60 shots last year for the Pirates. Second team all Big East and a unanimous all freshman selection. Six goals, 14 points a season ago. And he's out there with McKenzie. Tiebling also with some significant size, six foot two, eleven. You're looking for security force in South Orange, New Jersey. I want to give Andrea Slimberg a call. Ring up Tiebling and McKenzie. Good work in space here by Alsith, the unsung hero for the Pirates. Marin trickles his way through traffic. Great service forward. Tiebling cut off by Jacob Goodall. Great thought there by Carlton McKenzie on the service. And now Borg with a chance. He'll send it wide. That one picked up by Tremonte. Fredrickson for O'Leary. And they'll set it near side for Clemendi. Borg again. Marked there by Bertson. And he'll call the foul against the Musketeers. Dangerous restart chance and a set piece chance here for Seton Hall. Can they even the ledger? JP Marin over the ball. Musketeers will try to clog the box here and mark. 
And Tiebling. McKenzie, some great targets. Marin, the sophomore, serves it far post. Nobody home there. Matthew Rosenberg able to clean it up. Pirates just did not get good position through the wall. Teamling was closest. Couldn't find much of a burst, however, to try to challenge at the far post. So a clean up there for Rosenberg. It's been stout. McKenzie forward, Teebling on the run. Crawl there to disrupt for the Musketeers. Back for Chase Weber. Weber with space, some vision, and they find the speedy Peyton Miller. Miller cut off there by Marin. Miller grinds. Carson, get out! Carson, get out! Good no, mark there by Elsa. No one gets central now. Odom slides it back. And here comes Eden O'Leary. Henderlarn, Mark there by Fredrickson. Had to give it up. Sean Wilson looks for an opportunity. Good all. Sends it across. Bafo couldn't get a foot on it. Big clear there by Clemendi. At mid, Weber battling with Tiebling, and a whistle going to go against Tiebling. Tiebling had a nice run ahead of him, and he had Borg for some help on the attack. But we'll get a look at it. See a little frustration there by Tiebling, and maybe a bit of a grab. He saw some frustration there from Chase Weber, but Tiebling had a tantalizing opportunity in front of him. Sends it back to him. Leopard goes low and serves it forward for Bafo. Cameron Bell. Good all fills. Good service for Good all in front. Hender long on the header. Bafo cleans up the rebound and puts it home. Solid save by Noda on the offering. On the first ball and the rebound. Put in the back of the net by Noah Bafo for the Musketeers. Bafo's first of the season, first of his Xavier career, and what a big moment as the Musketeers trying to climb out of 10th in the Big East standings. Great service by Goodall, sinking. First touch there by Henderlong. Rebound off, and Bafo puts it away. Just in front of the sliding Andreas Noda. Great play by Noda, and just a tough break as the rebound short, and Bafo able to sneak in there and opportunistically knock it home. 2-0 Musketeers, 23-39 remaining. They'll give the assist to Carson Hinderlong. So in the 67th minute, the Musketeers register perhaps the insurance goal. Plenty of talent and plenty of power, however, on the Seton Hall side. Seton Hall on the road, one in five this season. Musketeers at home for the campaign. Three and three. Ball press forward. This is McKenzie. Great move in the box. Weber over to deflect. Will be Fredrickson cut off. Tiebling on the rebound. They'll keep it alive. It's the Pirates remain in the attacking third. Ball deflected on. Rosenberg going to have to make a save. Big answer on a slide for Taylor Kroll. That was Borg on the offering. And somehow that did not go to the back of the net. Borg with great position. Off the deflection from Rosenberg as Rosenberg tracked to that far post and knocked it down. And somehow, 
Borg's ball, didn't make it past Taylor Crawl. What a play by Crawl, who's had a big time night battling Carlton McKenzie, and that time saves a goal for the Musketeers. So a Xavier defense that has raised some question marks at times this season comes up with a huge play with Taylor Crawl. That ball served in and cleaned up there by Rosenberg. Get a good look there. A Taylor Crawl, redshirt sophomore from Carmel, Indiana. Right now, has kept the Musketeer sheet clean. So Xavier, two goals here in the second. Samson Sergi on a header for his seventh, and Noah Bafo, the freshman, knocked in the insurance goal in the 67th. Bernson out of the back. First touch there for Torborum Also, Carlton McKenzie in space and being hounded by Peyton Miller. No call there as Miller had a big handful of the kit. Ball was sent on, and Rosenberg able to make a save at the far post. And that's going to be a yellow card issued to Peyton Miller. So there was a whistle there, and that was a bit egregious by Peyton Miller. Had the full handful on the back of the number 11 jersey of Carlton McKenzie. McKenzie had steps. And he had Matt Rosenberg in his sights. And that's a solid call there by Michael Laverne. Peyton Miller injured a bit as they go to work on his upper lip, a little blood in that area. And you see the pull right there in front of Michael Laverne. And Whistle was a little bit late, and Peyton Miller saying, hey, I might have caught an elbow on that move. So once that advantage had gone away from Seton Hall, the whistle blown. Well, a little red on the upper lip of Peyton Miller. A little red in the Big East logo, too. And a fitting. Tebling with a first touch on a ball outside the box, and he'll send it back out. Pirates reset the attack. Clemendi, good service to the far post. Crawls there to knock it away. Carlton knocks it home. Mackenzie Carlton. Or will they whistle it off? There was a whistle right after. That ball found its way to the back of the net. It was Carlton McKenzie. And we'll see if the goal stands. So Carlton McKenzie will pick it up out of the air. So let's get a look at the last exchange as Carlton McKenzie firing up his Pirates teammates. That ball deflected up by Jacob Goodall. Carlton McKenzie picks it out of the air. And now we'll see a little dust up there in the back as Carlton McKenzie went to the back of the net to pull that ball out. And Matt Rosenberg didn't like that move at all. So a little bit of a dust up there is now Seton Hall has had the lead. So an acrobatic hitter by Samson Sergi for the Musketeers and Carlton McKenzie answers for Seton Hall. And that ball is deflected up in the air by Jacob Goodall and McKenzie. Beautiful job to redirect to the back of the net. 
Carlton McKenzie's third. And Seton Hall in business with 19.33 to go. So after a scoreless first half, three goals combined now in the second. Some tempers heating up as well. Lovey Fredrickson had it deflected in the box. Samson Sergei found it on the ground and knocked it past the far post. So the answer for Carlton McKenzie in the 70th minute. Two minutes after Noah Bafo gave the Musketeers a two goal lead. So a great answer, resilient by Seton Hall. Clemendi tries to carry forward, foul against the Musketeers. See if you're trying to form a double team on that far side. Twelve shots for the Musketeers, 11 tonight for Seton Hall. Six on frame for the Pirates, nine on frame for the Musketeers. Set piece here for the Pirates. Can they even it up? Ball knocked away there by Henderlong. Collected up top by Alston. And is offering well over the fence and on the Musketeer Hillside. So after some spectacular goalkeeping in the first, some spectacular goal scoring here in the second. Also with the touch, deflected, also four, looking for Carlton McKenzie. Ball in for Tiebling. Working again with McKenzie. McKenzie puts a big bender on it and that one well out of play. I saw McKenzie drop to his knees there. That's a great contact on and a lot of power in that right leg of Carlton McKenzie. And Matthew Rosenberg sends it out. Ball in space here for Clemente. Burson out of the back. Had the contact there for the Musketeers and Whistle will keep possession with Xavier. Peyton Miller going to come back on. Musketeers bring counter Haskell off. So some wide speed returns to the Xavier attack. Is that ball? Here on the near touch. Position near by Sampson Sergi. Gives the Musketeers a set piece opportunity. Good all over the ball for the Musketeers. Good left-footed service sinking in front. They tried to find Crawl, and that ball deflected right to the hands of Andreas Nota. Nota solid placement on the outlet. Burson trying to win here on the near side and did for the Musketeers. Shots all even now at 12. Nine on frame for the Musketeers, six on frame for the Pirates. Powering his way through space, James Boot. Breathing room now for Tremonte. Tremonte. 
Seton Hall bench. Getting some instructions to Andreas Nota. Last words for relax, 15 minutes. Ball deflected forward, no threat there as Weber able to get a foot on it for the Musketeers. Hender along with a bit of a high boot, able to knock it down. Clemendi circles out of the back. Ball sent long, the far side run cut off. And once again, Taylor Crawl there to position. Musketeers will give it back to Rosenberg to send it out. It's Alex Pizeski again on a good run for Seton Hall. Ball one and the other by Tremonte. Now Samson Sergi after it. Sergi commits the foul. Ball sit there in position defensively for Seton Hall. Pressure forward by Hinderlong and Samson Surgeon. Obe Fredrickson able to steer the ball out of trouble, but it finds its way to Sean Wilson. Wilson on the charge. Runs back into Fredrickson. Wilson now among two Pirates. And a foul against Seton Hall. Give the Musketeers an opportunity in the attacking third. Just less than 12 and a half to play. Here in Cincinnati, can the Musketeers overcome the second half woes? They've experienced with some late goals against them here this season. Right now, a one goal advantage courtesy of Noah Baffo. On a rebound of a beautiful save by Andreas Nota. Odom sends it across for Peyton Miller. Miller down to the goal line trying to cross. That ball well behind the net. And Nota looks for a quick release. Clemente out of the back with Eden O'Leary. Marin service forward. Long ball, Teebling there for the Pirates. They have all called off and they will send it back to the Musketeers. Oh, that was a foul there, Teebling. Carlton McKenzie in here to clean it up. Reset now for Matthew Rosenberg. Another solid effort defensively here for Seton Hall. Clemente forward. Webber there to meet it for the Musketeers. Teebling and Borg pressure. And earn the possession attacking third. First touch from McKenzie. Ball sent wide, service back in front. Teebling just misses an opportunity. Borg couldn't keep it alive. Clearing opportunity here for the Musketeers, but almost another great aerial connection. Saw so Carlton McKenzie come up with a goal. And Teebling almost had a second. Did not miss by much. Matt 
Kathy Rosenberg in there at 6-1 for the Musketeers. And that might be a bit of a generous measurement. Ball played back. Nota's going to reset. A little forward pressure there from Samson Surgeon. Whereas wasn't well struck, and Peyton Miller has Carson Henderlong in business. It sends it back to Noda. Better strike this time. One by Burnson at mid for the Musketeers momentarily. Great counter by Seton Hall. Sends it long. Taylor Crawl steers it back to Matthew Rosenberg. Another spurt of great forward pressure there by Pazinski. So Pazinski turned away on that last attack. A Jerry set to check back in for Seton Hall. Paulson into the corner. Burson there for Xavier. Burson with a chance, going to put it on, and that one floats over the crossbar. Not a big challenge there for Nota, but he had to think about it. Got up into the air, and how about a nice run in here for Jacob Burson for the Musketeers. Well, that was a little closer than I thought. Dennis clemente has been rock solid there defensively, and he'll come out for a rest here. But Burson. Solid delivery there for the Musketeers. Ball out of the back by Fredrickson. And Seton Hall Ben Skeen, the whistle he wanted. Now a quick restart. We approach seven to play. Seton Hall trying to level the ledger too. All three goals, goals scored in the second half. Carlton McKenzie again at time, booted away by Jacob Goodall. Connects with Sergi. Sergi throws it forward and Nota well off the line. Out to make the play. Now some numbers forward here for Andreas Lindbergh and his Seton Hall Pirates. Pirates have played well here tonight, toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Xavier Musketeers. 13 shots for Xavier, 12 for the Pirates. Six Pirate shots on frame. Perhaps another one coming here with McKenzie who got into the air. That ball actually hit Webert. Borg going to keep it alive in a corner. Boot, good service in. Ball knocked away out of the back by Goodall. Ball deflected in by Sergi. High boot there by Tiebling. Now, I don't believe that's intentional. Is Tiebling just going for the ball, and he made contact with Sean Wilson. Wilson going to be able to pop up. You see Goodall with a deflection out, and Tiebling just in a tough position. Boot might have been a little high, but Sean Wilson on his hip. Got the brunt. Bell serves across. Henderlong in, Payton Miller. Gets it flicked away by Love Fredrickson. The Musketeers continue the pressure late. Going from Burnson and the last Musketeer threat. Ball sent great position there by McKenzie Carlton and Wilson able to sling it away. Sent right back by James Boot and good all there for the Musketeers. Ball floated in, no to circles around. A quick release from the Seton Hall keeper. Tiebling. 
Ball second team a season ago for the Pirates. Ball wide for Bork. In front, swung back out. Chance for the Pirates, big blast, and that one sent wide. Nathan Tremonti. So the Pirates continue to dial up the attack. Forward there for Autumn and after it, Samson Sergi for the Musketeers. Carson drop, Carson drop. Will be Fredrickson there again for the Pirates to swing it out. Seton Hall cycles back to mid. Numbers again forward. Peyton Miller got a food on it. Fredrickson tried to steer that one into the attacking half. Ball forward again and a misconnection. Finds its way to Cameron Bell for the Musketeers and Bell will just send it long as the Musketeers trying to work clock now less than Two minutes remaining, or three minutes, excuse me. Borg forward. Borg has the cross extinguished on that line by Burson. Corner now for James Boot and the Pirates. Just the second corner of the night. Boot serves it middle, ball deflected and high. Good job in the air by Eden O'Leary to meet that. Corner was open, top shelf. And O'Leary sent it just long. Big time threat turned away and Andy Fleming asked for his Musketeers to run clock. Ball sent in, met by Weber, Tiefling. Harassed there a little bit by Derek Odom. Odom able to turn possession. Storm ring right back. Alsith. Musketeers able to send it along. Good ball thrown forward, Weber there. A Jerry in the area there for Seton Hall. 90th minute in Cincinnati. Musketeers hanging on to a 2-1 lead, but under siege here from the Seton Hall Pirates. Tiebling missed it in the air. Burson knocks it down. Tiebling after it. Ball flicked away. And Burson going to need some extra assistance here for the Musketeers with 37 seconds remaining. So Burson down to the pitch. And this Musketeer team picked to finish fifth in conference in the preseason poll. Georgetown was first, Creighton was second. St. John's the big story of the season in terms of the preseason rankings into tonight in first place, but was trailing by three in the second half. A blast there for Love Fredrickson. Sent wide, and Fredrickson was looking for the deflection in a corner opportunity and didn't get it. So now a stoppage with 24 seconds remaining. The Musketeers 
Couple of clearing opportunities away from staying alive in this Big East Hunt. Xavier's gonna have to battle from behind the rest of the way. Musketeers will go to two and four if this holds up. Sean Wilson needed some assistance. He'll ask for a substitution here for Xavier. So Ryan Bellavant's on now for the Musketeers. Bellavant's one of those big off-season transfers. Transferred in from Colgate, where he was part of a couple of NCAA tournament teams. Ball forward there for Samson Sergi. 18 seconds. What do the Pirates have left in the tank? Borg there challenges, picks up the whistle. Not done yet in Cincinnati. Nine seconds. Ball sent forward. Into the box, knocked away. And the Musketeers are going to hang on. Big second half surge from the Seton Hall Pirates in an awesome battle here tonight. Seton Hall with 14 shots, six on frame. The Musketeers with 13 shots, nine on frame. Goalkeeping solid in the first. Attacks got it rolling in the second. All three goals today in the second half. Samson Surgeon got it going for the Musketeers at 46-40. The game winner by Noah Bafo, the freshman at 67 minutes. And the answer in the 70th minute from Carlton McKenzie is a strong finish denied here by the Xavier Musketeers. So Xavier, it's a vital second victory here in conference and now even with the Seton Hall Pirates. Sampson Sergi's header got the Musketeers rolling. We'll take a break and we'll be back here from the Xavier Soccer Complex. Musketeers a 2-1 winner over the Seton Hall Pirates. It's time to fuel your ambitions by taking charge of your student debt. At SoFi, we've helped over 250,000 people refinance their student loans, saving thousands of dollars. Now you can pay off your student loans faster and reach your goals sooner. See how much you can save in just two minutes at SoFi.com slash save. minds do. While at Seton Hall, I interned with the Superior Court of New Jersey, and that inspired me to go to law school. I am a physics and civil engineering major, and I want to work on infrastructure in underdeveloped countries. I'm the news director at one of the top college radio stations in the country. I'm working with my professor on research that could help athletes during sudden cardiac events. I started my own business, Classic Soccer Cleats, and I just sold it to a company in England. Come see for yourself what great minds can do. by taking charge of your student debt. At SoFi, we've helped over 250,000 people refinance their student loans, saving thousands of dollars. 
Now you can pay off your student loans faster and reach your goals sooner. See how much you can save in just two minutes at SoFi.com slash save. with the Superior Court of New Jersey, and that inspired me to go to law school. I am a physics and civil engineering major, and I want to work on infrastructure in underdeveloped countries. I'm the news director at one of the top college radio stations in the country. I'm working with my professor on research that could help athletes during sudden cardiac events. I started my own business, Classic Soccer Cleats, and I just sold it to a company in England. Come see for yourself what great minds can do. Mike Schmaltz back at the Xavier Soccer Complex. The Xavier Musketeers hold serve at home tonight. A vital victory for Xavier in terms of the conference standings. And the Musketeers pick up a much-needed victory, 2-1 over the Seton Hall Pirates. Joined now by the victorious head coach, Andy Fleming. Your team's known for grit, resilience. Yep. You showed it here again tonight. A little disappointed to allow a goal. Uh, we've been defending great, though. That's, I think, the fourth straight game with one goal against or zero. So, um, you know, a little disappointed to get one just three minutes after we scored. But we haven't really had a multiple goal game in quite a while. And I thought our guys were very good mentally and comfortable having a lead, which uh, hasn't always been the case. And we've kind of grown into that, and it's nice to see. Pretty classic Big East battle here tonight yeah. from both sides. First half, attacks were in form, and the goalkeeping in form for both sides. Andreas Nota, great job in goal. And... Matt Rosenberg answered in goal as well, so a little bit of a Big East Classic on both sides that way, and then the attacks got rolling in the second half. So talk about that momentum swing and what maybe did you find on the attack in the second that you didn't have in the first. I thought in the first half we just beat ourselves a little. We gave the ball away in some key areas with no pressure uh, on forced errors, if you will. But, you know, uh, McKenzie's a handful. Uh, he has a... Uh, I, I won't miss him. And then, uh, <laughs> you know, Tib Tibbling came in uh, in the second half, and he has two years left. So I always know these guys I don't enjoy dealing with. But we did a pretty good job of keeping them in front of us. Uh, and I thought we did a pretty good job, a better job in the second half of getting over midfield and holding the ball and circulating and waiting for the right time to go, whereas we tried to do a track meet in the first half, and that favored Seton Hall. So I thought uh, we probably out-toughed them, and we stuck together. And, again, I thought we were very poised and at peace and comfortable being ahead, which, uh, again, took a while, as you know, to kind of get there. Talk a little bit about your defensive effort, your goal discrepancy in the second half. You trailed coming into tonight 12-6 to your opponents. Big play by Taylor Crawl on the goal line that saved the goal really against Bork. Yeah, and it's funny because uh, before the game, I, I said to myself today, geez, I believe you create luck in training and, and how you deal with things when they aren't going well. And I thought we've created some cumulative luck here in the last couple weeks. And we've been playing well, and I think we're close. And, uh, you know, uh, the Georgetown coach said the other day, I think you guys are inches away from scoring goals. And to get two is great. Again, a little disappointed with the goal against. But, um, you know, two out of three here, and uh, the schedule's favorable, and I feel like we're, we're coming along at the right time. Points at home, always vital. How nice is it for you to be back into the thick of it a little bit more? here as we get down to the end. It was good to have two weeks to kind of work on some things and lift up the hood, but I think at this time of the year now you want to just keep playing, particularly after Saturday. I thought the guys were disappointed and just needed another another game quickly, and I think uh, this came at the right time. Coach, thanks for joining us. Yep. That's Thank Andy you. Fleming after his Musketeers pull out a 2-1 victory over the Seton Hall Pirates here tonight. Samson Sergi strikes first for the Musketeers with a header. Noah Baffo gets the game winner off a deflection in the 67th. Seton Hall was able to answer in the 70th with a header by Carson, Carlton McKenzie, but not enough tonight for the Pirates to get past the Musketeers in a well-fought battle here in the Big East. So for our Big East Digital Network crew and Ryan McGahey, I'm Mike Schmaltz. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back next time for men's soccer on the Big East Digital Network presented by SoFi.